Hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer is the most common subtype of invasive breast cancer, representing 70% of all cases. The standard first-line treatment approach for our patients with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic disease is a CDK4-6 inhibitor in combination with endocrine therapy. However, treatment outcomes for patients may vary depending on the breast cancer subtype and the underlying disease heterogeneity. To provide the most effective and personalized care for patients with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic disease, it's crucial to understand how disease heterogeneity can impact clinical outcomes. Hormone receptor positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer can be further categorized into distinct subtypes based on gene expression patterns, histology, clinical and biologic properties, and response to treatment. Some of these subtypes are clinically relevant because they have prognostic value. Prognostic factors in the metastatic setting include progesterone receptor status, presence of visceral metastasis, presence of liver metastasis, and high-grade tumor. Patients who lack progesterone receptor expression have a worse disease-free survival than patients with progesterone receptor expression. Patients who have visceral and beyond bone-only metastases have worse overall survival than patients with bone-only metastases. Patients with high-grade or intermediate-grade tumors have worse overall survival than patients with low-grade tumors. In addition, not all HR-positive HER2-negative tumors respond the same way to endocrine therapy. Studies have shown that approximately 20% of patients do not respond to endocrine therapy plus CDK4-6 inhibitors in the first-line setting, and unfortunately, patients will develop resistance over time after an initial response. Most women with metastatic breast cancer have more than one prognostic factor that we need to take into consideration when thinking about what's the best therapy for them. This does introduce a little bit more complexity as we think through what the best therapy is for an individual woman. As healthcare providers, it's important to identify patients with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic disease who may be at risk for less than optimal outcomes based on their clinical and pathologic factors, and also to understand who really is likely to benefit from CDK4-6 inhibitor therapy plus endocrine therapy in the first-line setting.